Hi, I'm Kevin Johnson with f &H. We are a certified SPX Flow Service and Repair Center, and today I'll be demonstrating the proper way to disassemble, inspect, and change the product seals on a Waukesha Universal 3 PD pump. Let's look at the tools required to perform this work, then we'll get started. First off, we're going to cover the wet end disassembly on the U3 PD pump. Take your 7 8 in wrench, remove your cover nuts, no torque is required. Once your cover nuts are removed, remove the cover from your body. Set the cover in a safe place, the product side facing up. Visually inspect your rotor tips for damage. Use the proper socket for your rotor nut and the impact wrench. These have a high torque, so please check your manual. Remove your rotor nuts. Set aside. Once your rotor nuts are removed, you can slide the rotor straight off the shaft. With your rotor removed, inspect for damage, remove any O-rings, set inside the cover. With your rotors removed, inspect your product seals, make sure there's no damage inside the body, crossover, or back face of the pump. Next, we'll remove your body retaining bolts, quarter inch T-handle Allen wrench. Remove your body, sliding it straight off the studs, set on a flat working space. Remove any seals or O-rings. Inspect your shafts in the O-ring area for corrosion. Check your splines for wear and your threads. Now we'll move on to the gear case assembly inspection. Now we're going to cover the gear case inspection on the U3 PD pump. First thing you're going to want to do, inspect the backlash of your timing gears by rotating your shafts left and right. If you feel any backlash at this time, they need replaced. Inspect your grease seals for leakage. If any is found, replace as needed. On this side of the PD pump, you'll notice two stainless steel plugs. Use the same 7 8 in wrench as the cover nuts. Remove and inspect. Check your bottom hole for water or debris. If any is found, remove with a towel. Reinstall your plug. Every 750 hours, the pump requires an oil change and the regrease of the bearings. Drain the oil out of the bottom oil plug. Refill the top of the sight glass. On the opposite, opposite side of the pump, you have your grease certs. Apply one pump of grease per bearing every 750 hours. 
On the back of the pump, you have your rear oil seal. Inspect for leakage, replace if necessary. That concludes the gear case assembly inspection on the Waukesha Universal 3 PD pump. Now we're gonna go over the single O-ring seal on a Universal 3 PD pump. First, you're gonna take your seal housing O-ring, silicone-based lubricant, apply to the sealing surface, and the O-ring. Once the O-ring is lubricated, install into a position. Take your seal housing, align with the bolt holes. Tighten the bolts using your 3 16 Allen wrench, hand tight. On the inside of your seal housing, use your body O-ring, install in place, lubricate it. Universal 3 has a front loading single O-ring sleeve, apply lubricant around the outside, Install through your body O-ring. Final O-ring is from your single O-ring sleeve to the back side of your rotor. Lubricate, install on your sleeve. That concludes the single O-ring seal on the Universal 3 PD pump. Next, we're going to cover the double O-ring seal on the Waukesha Universal 3 pump. You got your wave spring seat. Notice your two flats. Align with the two flats on the shaft. Install. Make sure it's seated. Now you have your wave spring. Install on the shaft. Shaft O-ring, install once it's lubricated. Next, we have our seal housing. Notice the flush ports. They will install aligning with the slots of the body. Notice your two O-ring grooves. We'll take two body O-rings, install. Once both O-rings are installed, lubricate. Seal housing has an O-ring also. Install on the seal housing. Install your seal housing on the body. Next, we have our O-ring sleeve, our O-ring. Install the lubricated O-ring onto your sleeve. Notice your two notches. They'll align with the two pins on your rotor. Install that. Make sure you're seated. Install your body. Tighten your body retaining bolts. Align your splines of your rotor up with the splines of your shaft. Install. Install your jam nut. Once your jam nut is torqued, the seal assembly of the double O-ring seal is complete.
Now we're going to cover the single mechanical seal configuration on a U3 pump. First, take your O-ring for your rotor, install in place. Use a silicone based lubricant. Install your seal with the alignment tabs. Seat that in the position of your rotor. Set that aside. Body seal components. You have your O-ring for your seal seat. Lubricate, body and the O-ring, and install. Install your spring seat with the tab holes facing up. Make sure your O-ring is seated. Install your seal tab with the tabs facing down towards the product into the pump. Seal spring, make sure it's together. Install on your seal tab. Seal carrier. Set over the top of your seal configuration. Use anti-seize on your bolts. Tighten using your 3 16 T-handle Allen. Move your body to where the product side is facing up. You have a product side O-ring and a product side seal that are front loading. You'll install your product side seal inside the body with your silicone based lubricant. Apply a small amount of lubricant to the back side of your product seal. Align your tabs with the seal seat tab and install. Check for spring play. Once you've done that, you can install your body. Once your seals and your body's installed, tighten your two body retaining bolts. And that concludes the single mechanical seal on a Universal 3 PD pump. The last seal option we want to go over today is the double mechanical seal for the Waukesha Universal 3 pump. First, you've got your shaft O-ring. Install that with lubricant. Get your adjusting ring. Note the two flats. Align with the two flats of the shaft. Align that and install. Next is the rotating seal O-ring installed on the adjusting ring with lubricant. Next, we have the rotating seal O-ring and rotating seal. Install the O-ring with lubricant. Install on the adjusting ring. Make sure your tabs are aligned. Get your seal housing O-ring, install into the body, the body facing down. Seal carrier, 
the tab slots facing up towards you with your seal carrier tab, these tabs facing down towards the pump bench. Install in the slot. Install your flush housing. Note the flush ports align with the cutouts of the body. Give it a wiggle. Make sure your bolt holes align. Install your bolts. Next, we have your inner seal O-ring. It sits inside your pump flush housing and the wave spring tuck in there. Wipe with lubricant. Install your wave spring. Your seal has three mounting points. Install two of your bolts. Tuck your seal under those two. Install your third. Using an 1 8 inch T-handle Allen wrench, tighten hand tight. Check your inner seal. Make sure your spring is seated. Everything is in play and there's no binding. With the body on the bench, product side facing up, get your stationary seal O-ring and your stationary seal. Install your stationary seal O-ring with lubricant. Install your stationary seal with your alignment pins. Check for spring tension. Now you're ready to install your body on your gear case with your double mechanical product seals installed on your U3 pump. We hope you enjoyed this pump training video. Additional videos and other helpful resources can be found on our website. Once again, I'm Kevin with F&H. Thanks for watching.